Welcome to the Hot Mic SE. Gaten Mackenzie vows loyalty to President Cyril Ramaphosa for appointing him as minister. In a bold and public declaration, Minister of Sport, Art and Culture Gaten Mackenzie has reaffirmed his unwavering loyalty to President Cyril Ramaphosa assuring the president that he would never betray him in the government of national unity. Mackenzie's statement comes amid growing political tensions and speculation about potential risks within the coalition government, as detractors continue to question Mackenzie's appointment and the motives behind the government of national unity. Speaking at a recent public event, Mackenzie made it clear that his allegiance to President Ramaphosa remained steadfast, largely due to the faith and trust the president placed in him when appointing him to the ministerial position. I will never betray you, Mr. President, because when many doubted me and worked to keep me from this role, you stood firm and gave me a chance. I owe you my loyalty, Mackenzie proclaimed. The comments were captured in a widely circulated video which has sparked conversation across political circles and on social media platforms. Gaten Mackenzie, who leads the Patriotic Alliance, was a surprise pick in Ramaphosa's GNU cabinet, especially after persistent rumors of tension between Mackenzie's party and the African National Congress. His appointment, however, was viewed by many as a strategic move by Ramaphosa to secure broader support within the fractious political landscape. Despite this, Mackenzie's role has been met with criticism from opposition parties and even some members within the ANC itself who have raised concerns over his political past and the extent of his experience in the areas of sports, arts and culture. However, Mackenzie has stood his ground, asserting that his focus remains on serving South Africa's people and delivering on the promises made by the GNU. His recent remarks are seen as an attempt to silence critics and emphasize his loyalty to Ramaphosa as well as his commitment to maintaining stability within the unity government. The government of national unity was formed in the wake of last year's contentious national elections, which saw no party with an outright majority. This forced the ANC into a coalition government, partnering with smaller parties such as the Patriotic Alliance and the Economic Freedom Fighters. The arrangement has been fought with challenges as conflicting interests between coalition partners have led to political infighting and uncertainty regarding the future of the alliance. For Ramaphosa, securing Mackenzie's loyalty is seen as crucial in maintaining the GNU's fragile balance. With opposition parties continuing to scrutinize the administration's decision and the constant threat of motions of no confidence, ensuring stability within the coalition is paramount. Mackenzie's declaration of support comes at a time when other political figures, including former EFF Deputy President Floyd Chivambu, have been leaving their respective parties or publicly questioning their leadership within the GNU. The President's ability to keep key figures like Mackenzie in his corner is expected to play a significant role in navigating the challenges that lie ahead. As Mackenzie continues to defend his ministerial role, the broader question of how long the government of national unity will hold remains on the minds of political analysts and the public alike. While the minister's loyalty may provide some short-term reassurance, the future of South Africa's coalition politics is anything but certain. For now, Mackenzie's words of allegiance to Ramaphosa sends a clear message that at least within the Ministry of Sports, Arts and Culture, the president can count on firm support. Thank you all for watching and please don't forget to kindly drop your comments, drop a like and please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.